wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Today, 
Now, four million of our Syrian brothers and sisters are without enough food to live. And how about Afghanistan? Our boys and our girls, after all these, you my God, what's going on here? Even World War II didn't take that long. Our boys and girls in Afghanistan are still dying right now, God forbid. Somebody's son and daughter, American, God forbid, is dying. So if we practice that little rule, I say, and Jesus said there would be heaven on earth, do you say that's impossible? Well, then if it's impossible, why would Jesus tell us to do it? Did he ever say to do something that's impossible? Do for others just what you want them to do for you. It's the greatest rule ever devised. The greatest rule ever devised, and it works. It does bring results without, when we do something unselfishly, without expecting anything in return. Then it works. Do for others. Jesus said, if somebody asks you to go one mile with them, go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Show that you really care for other people, not just with words. That's the easiest thing. I can tell everybody, I love you, I love you, I love you. And do nothing to really make it work. So treat other people the way you want to treat them. And in the gospel today, we heard something shocking, didn't we? And we've heard it before. It goes over our heads. He even said, love your enemies as well. Love your enemies as well is what Jesus is telling us to do today. And so to do to others as we want them to do to us, you know what? It means you have to love. You have to love. You have to love people. And before you can love anybody, I want to tell you right now, I've learned it in my life. I have a doctor's degree in psychotherapy. I have a master, two master degrees in theology. And only now is it beginning to dawn on me that you cannot love anybody else unless you first love yourself. Has any priest ever reminded you of that? And it's true. You can't love anybody. Your wife, your husband, your kids, your neighbor, nobody. You, you cannot love anybody unless you respect and love yourself. So then, you don't have to have a PhD in psychotherapy to know that when people are attacking other people, when people are being vicious and malicious, criticizing trying to tear down other people, guess what? They, they hate themselves. They hate themselves. They don't have any respect for themselves, and they take it on to their neighbors or whomever. If in our hearts, we Christian people, if we're not aware and accept and let it sink deep down into our very essence. If we don't accept that God loves you unconditionally. Hey, think about that for a minute. Whoever you are, whoever I am, whatever we've been, whatever we've done, God has never stopped loving us. He loves us unconditionally. And until we understand that and accept that and believe it, we can't love anybody because we can't even love ourselves. Practicing the golden rule will help, help us to be more and more aware of God's love for us. 2,000 years ago is when Jesus said these words. These words have spread all over the planet, people of all nations and generations, and yet, why is it so difficult for us to understand and accept 
that we cannot have a peaceful world unless we do unto others as we want them to do unto us. Forgive me for asking the question. I, I'm not trying to hurt anybody or insult anybody. But have you ever noticed every once in a while you get angry when somebody else is happy and successful? Now, I'll be honest. Think about it for a minute. Have you ever gotten angry when some good things are happening to your neighbor or somebody else? And have you ever been happy to see... Now, what's Father Nick saying today? That's kind of foolishness. Now, think about it. When we criticize others, it's because we have no respect for ourselves. The only thing that can save this world, my brothers and sisters, is a return to some kind of spirituality, some kind of a spiritual life, some way for us to know that there is a God and that God loves everybody. But now the question is, when he says we're going to love people, does that mean I have to love what people do? Do I have to love people's sins? Do I have to love people when they do evil? Well, Jesus didn't say for us to love sin. No, he said for us to hate sin and evil but to love the sinner. Hate the sin, but love the sinner. Our prayers are acceptable to God only when we're willing to forgive and to love. There's some place in the Bible that also says, maybe you've never heard this before. I think you have. Jesus said at another, on another day, he said, when you bring your gift to church, your offering to the temple. If on the way you remember that you have a grudge to somebody or you're not getting along with somebody, leave your gift, go back home, make amends with that person, and then come back to church and give your gift. <coughs> In every divine liturgy, what do we say? Let us love one another that we may confess. Confess what? Confess our faith, confess our creed, confess that we believe in Christ and then we proceed to receive Holy Communion. Well, we need to remind ourselves that we're not ready to receive Holy Communion if we have a grudge, if we have ill feeling toward anybody. We cannot, we should not even dare to think that we're ready to receive the precious body and blood of Christ. God does not expect us to be perfect, no. But he expects us to forgive and to love. My brothers and sisters, then, it's time for us to reconsider the golden rule. Now, we talked about it last year. And maybe you tried it last week, or maybe a month ago, or six months ago. But Jesus is reminding us again, try it one more time. Try it in your life and see what happens. You will indeed see miracles happening in your life when you open your heart, get rid of any negative thoughts and feelings about anybody. Love them, forgive them, and do to them what? What you want them to do to you. In the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit.